Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. Hey, I know period can cause a lot of discomfort such as headache, fatigue, cramps and bloatiness that can make you look like you're five months pregnant. Yes, and that happens to me too. Well, all you want is to curl up on the sofa and binge on Netflix, but you found me. So let's do some gentle Pilates to give you that natural endorphin high, elevate your mood and make you feel better. We're going to start with some relaxation and deep breathing, ease the cramps away and release symptoms. So let's go ahead and meet me on the mat. We're going to start with some relaxation. There are two ways that you can do it. If you have a good um, dining chair around you, you may grab it. So I'm going to use this. So put it somewhere near your mat. And let's go ahead and lie on our back. If you're using a chair or sofa, you can rest your leg on the sofa or the chair. Or if you do not have any access to it, that's fine. You can push this away and you can just lie on the back like what I'm doing. So I'm giving you two options here and how you can do this relaxation um, uh, session. All right, so I'm going to lie on my back you can have your legs on the sofa or the chair. So have your feet slightly wider than your pelvis and have your knees together. All right, all you need to do is lie yourself down and relax on the mat. All right, so arms long by the side. You may close your eyes if you wish to. Take a moment, allow your body to arrive on the floor, on the mat. Allow the gravity to soften your body down. Just breathe naturally, inhaling through the nose, exhaling to the mouth. And just keep breathing for me. Inhaling and exhaling. And as you breathe, you're allowing the muscles to join the body to just be one with your mat, be one with earth. Allowing your body to soften. And try not to over sort of focus yourself in the parts in the body that is feeling a little bit yucky at the moment. If you're feeling that cramps, try not to focus on it, but bring your attention to your breath. And as we breathe, I'd like to share you something. I was driving to the studio today and I was listening to this podcast, the awesome podcast by Rob Dial. And he basically say that we are magicians. We are who we are from what we say, how we act, and what we think. So I'd like you to invite a good energy and a good thought in your mind. As you breathe in, tell yourself that you are inhaling good positive energy into your body. And as you exhale, we are thinking that we're melting the tightness away of our body down to the ground. We are what we say. Inhaling, tell yourself, we are strength. Exhaling. We allow our body to soften to the ground just by using our breath and with our mind. We are what we say. We are what we think. We are how we act. Inhale. Breathing into the area that you feel a little tight. You can do a little quick scan in the body. Perhaps it's the lower spine. 
perhaps it's the joint in the hip joint. So we inhale in through the joints, expanding, giving a positive, good, strong energy, lifting energy into the area. Exhaling, softening through the joint, through the area. Inhale, let go of any tension you have in the body. Exhale, allow the ground to welcome you. Allow the ground to be one with you. Let's do two more deep inhalation. Exhalation. Sipping good positive energy. Inhaling good strength into your body. Exhaling, allowing your body to really, really soften with the ground. And slowly open your eyes if you have your eyes closed. All right, if you have your legs on the sofa or on the chair, you can take a time and bring your legs down and just move away from the chair. Push the chair away and come and join us back on the mat. You are on the ground. Let's open the knees and have your feet sort of towards the edge of the mat. We're going to open our arms up to the T position. Remember, we inhale good positive energy. We exhale, we allow our body to soften. Now we inhale, we're going to drop the leg over to me. Exhale, we bring our legs back to the center. Inhale, drop your legs over to the other side. Exhale, we're going to start mobilizing the pelvis, mobilizing the hip joint, inviting a good blood flow in the area. Inhale, you can also use your head to turn in opposite direction with the legs. And an in breath. Exhale. And in breath. Exhale. In breath. One more set. Inhale. Last one. In breath. Good. Walk your feet towards the middle. And then lift one leg up to your chest and lift the other up to your chest. And gentle press off your hands against your legs, pressing your thighs against your belly. Now I'd like you to really try to lengthen that lower spine to the floor using your breath. We inhale, allowing the air that you take really elongate or release the back down to the floor. Find length in your spine. Exhale, compress that hip joint while you're keeping that length in the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Use your breath to talk to your body. Every breath that you take, you're a step closer to softening, opening the joints in your body and relaxing that tight muscles, the cramp muscles that you are sort of feeling at the moment. Allowing the body to melt away. One more, inhale. Well done. Okay, let's do some hip circle. We're gonna stir the knee. We're gonna bring the knee closer to you and we're gonna open the leg away and bring them together. Inhale, exhale as we open. Inhale, in. Exhale, in breath, in. Exhale, like stirring a pot of soup with a ladle. So your legs are your ladle and your hip joint is your pot of soup. And again, we're inviting circulation in the hip joint. 
Releasing any tension you have in the hip joint. One more. Let's reverse. We pull away. Out together. In breath. Just keep breathing. As you stir the legs. Inhale. And two more. Last one. And release. One leg down, second leg down. All right, now I like you to stretch the arm closer to me overhead and then stretch the same leg down on the floor. So we're doing one sided starfish stretch. So we inhale, pull away like you are plasticine. I'm going to stretch. I want you to stretch away that body. Exhale. Retract. One more time. Inhale. Stretch that body out. Grow a few inches. Exhale. And bring the arm, the leg in. Let's go with the other side. Arm overhead. Stretch the leg down. And inhale. Pull away. Exhale. Retract. Inhale. How long can you go? How much can you stretch? Exhale, recover and bring the arm and the leg. Now let's go opposite arm and leg. So I'm going to stretch the arm, my back arm and my front leg. And I'm gonna pull apart in a diagonal direction. In breath, exhale. I'm feeling a lot taller already, how about you? Inhale. And exhale and bring them back in and front arm, back leg. Inhale, reach out. Exhale and stretch away. Stretch out, stretch out, stretch out. And exhale and bring them back in. Okay, let's reset our feet. I want your feet to be hip width distance apart, just about approximately a fist between your heels. Your arms are long by the side. Place your pelvis in a comfortable position. Whatever that is for you today. Maybe perhaps it's a little bit tucked under today. That's fine. Whatever feels comfortable for your back. All right, I'd like you to place your fingertips. So I want you to go like so with your hands. All right, place that with your finger with your fingers, tip area around your pubic bone and your thumbs together. Now, inhaling through the nose. As you exhale, I like you to feel the abdominal muscle contracting, pulling away from your hands. I know it can be a little tough when you feel really bloated, but there it will be some sort of abdominal connection that you can do, whatever you can do today, okay? Inhale, exhale, drawing the abdominal in and try not to rock the pelvis yet. So we inhale, purely drawing a deep transverse abdominus muscle towards your waistline In breath two more times, breathe into the rib cage. You can probably feel the belly floating up a little bit. Exhale, pull the belly away from your hands. You're going to feel when you palpate on the inside of your hip joint, you're going to feel that little tension drawing in towards your spine. And that's your transverse abdominus. Last one, in breath. Exhale. Okay, and now we're going to use that transverse abdominus and we're going to take your pelvis to some rocking position. So we inhale, exhale, pull the belly away from your hands and then you allow the pelvis to rock up. So you are imprinting that lower spine down to the floor. Your pelvis, your bottom is curling up. Your pubic bone is up towards the sky and then release it back down. Exhale, deflate the abdominal, and then allow it to rock. So you have this kind of concave sensation in the abdominal and release. Exhale, you rock, inhale. 
like a seesaw. We're just rocking back and forward. And, and forward. We start to mobilize our lower spine. And exhale, in breath. And exhale, in breath. Now, when you have a hang of it, you can let go of your arms and just continue rocking with the breath out, breath out and inhale to return. One more time, breath out, inhale to return. Okay, taking ourselves to a pelvic curl now. So we exhale, the abdominal muscles sink into the floor and the lumbar spine, the lower spine sink into the floor. And then we're gonna recruit that hamstring to roll the spine up to the bridging area. Use your arms to press down so we can push that booty up a little bit, a little higher. Inhale, exhale, allow the spinal column to articulate down one vertebra at a time and release back to your starting position. Let's do three more times. Exhale, we sink the abdominal, we allow the lower spine to melt, the tailbone will come up, your hamstrings start to kick on to roll the spine up, pressing the arms, pressing the two tip of the shoulders down in breath. Exhale, think about stretching the spine down as you articulate and release. And again, exhale, we roll. Reach the thigh towards the heels, towards your knees. A little bit of energy through the bottom, the glutes. In breath, exhale, stretch the spine down. Take your time here and really feel that lumbar spine opening through the floor as you roll the spine down. And last one, exhale, we roll up. Can we find a deeper stretch as we go down? Exhale. Now, right now, find deeper, deeper stretch, deeper flexion, deeper abdominal contraction, and then release back to neutral. Beautiful. Okay. Now it's time to stabilize the pelvis here. So we talk about the transverse abdominis. Now you can place your hands back in that triangle position back on the front of the pelvis. As you breathe out, you're gonna tighten up that transverse abdominis, TBA muscle, like a corset, and let's do some single leg lift. Take the back leg, take the leg closer to me, up to a tabletop position. Knee over the hip. Inhale, move from the knee joint, not the knee joint, the hip joint. Ignore me. Exhale, lift from the hip joint. Inhale, and as you lower and lift the leg, do your best, try your best to not shift the pelvis around and lower. Exhale, in breath. Imagine you are wearing a beautiful lacy corset, all right? A lace corset right now. It's gonna hug you in real nicely, stabilize the pelvis, make you feel beautiful, and give you that awesome sort of strength or secure or stable midline with that corset. Exhale. And last one. And bring it up and stay. Use your hands. Press your hands against the thigh. I want you to push that hands down, but I want you to put a break on your thigh here. So we in breath. Exhale, we push down, but put a stop with the thigh. So you're gonna feel that oblique kicking in, giving you a bit of a woof strength in your center. And release, one more time. Exhale, making sure that you do not arch your back. And so maintain the placement of the pelvis and release. And release the leg down, let's go to the other side. Stabilize the pelvis. You can place your hands on the pelvis or keep them by the side. We exhale, lift, lower in breath, and 
lower in breath, stable pelvis, movement from the hip joint, and lift and lower. Remember, you're wearing a beautiful lace corset. And up, keeping stability into your center. And one more, and we stay. Hands on the thigh. Press your hands down and put a break on your thigh. So you are feeling the obliques kicking in. As you breathe out, we push down and hold it with the thigh, maintain the pelvis and release. One last one. Exhale and we press. Keep the neck long, keep the shoulders open and release. Okay, arms down by the side. Let's do leg changes. This is gonna require a little bit more recruitment of your abdominal, your deep abdominal, your TVA. Then bring the other leg up, joining to a tabletop. Then we lower the first one down and switch as we exhale. We switch. So we're still keeping the pelvis stable, movement from the hip joint. Exhale and you can also place your hands on the front of your belly and the pelvis just to give you a little tactile cue to check if you are actually pushing the belly out or you're keeping the belly in. Okay? And change. And change. And change. Two more sets. Change. And change. Last set. And change. Bring both legs up to the tabletop and stay. Now, Let's do that TVA, the transverse abdominal squeeze. Press your hands down and put a break on your thigh. So we breathe up, we push down, pulling the shoulders away from your ears. You're gonna feel the whole abdominal contracting in, trying to hold on to it, hold on to the abdominal and release. Again, press down and hold it, allow the abdominal to deflate whatever you can today and release one more time. Exhale, press down, hold the center and release. Okay, squeezing the legs in, open your arms to a T position, it's time for some spine twist supine. We keep the shoulders down to the floor and anchor it. Rotate towards me from the waistline, keep the legs together as one unit. Exhale, Center, over to the other side. As we inhale, over to you, in fact. Exhale, rotate to me. As you inhale from the waistline, my shoulders are still anchored. I hope yours are too. And an in breath. Exhale, and in breath as we twist. Exhale, from the center, we bring the legs together. And in breath. Exhale, one more set. Inhale to me. Exhale, come back. Last one, inhale to you. Exhale, come back, center. And we lower one foot, we lower second foot, and we turn our body to face me. Okay, now stack the legs together and have your feet aligned with your spine. Interlace your hands behind your head and make sure that your spine is in a beautiful straight alignment in the middle, which means that you are going to have to lift that bottom waistline. Imagine you have a wall behind you, your back and your feet should be resting against that wall. So this is chest opener. We inhale, opening the elbow to the sky, and then allow the trunk to rotate backward. Exhale, you recover yourself back. Now, whenever I do this exercise, I always try to think, when I inhale, I'm breathing in that beautiful mountain fresh air. And as I come back, and allow myself to be one with myself and inhale. So I used to do a lot of hiking and I was living in Europe. So this always reminds me of the time when I opened that window and you know, when you wake up in the morning and then you breathe in that beautiful, fresh mountain air. So I'm thinking that, so I'm allowing my lungs to really expand here. Exhale, 
allowing myself to soften and inhale opening breathing in that fresh air you can even think you know ocean air if that's more related to you relatable inhale breathing in the fresh air and allow the body to just melt away exhale come back okay moving on straighten the legs and stretch the arm overhead you need to create again a beautiful straight line here and take the top hand in front of you here Okay, now moving on to a side lift. Again, we start with lifting the underneath waistline up and we float the leg up and find that balance. I like you to pull that head up or lengthen the head away from the shoulders and reach the feet away from your waistline. Then as you breathe out, you lengthen the body upward and you allow the bottom waist to rest or lengthen down to the floor and lower, create more length. And exhale, we will reach. Inhale, create length. Exhale, in breath. And exhale, in breath. So by the time you finish this class, you're going to feel a thousand times better. Tell that to yourself. And you're going to feel a lot longer, a lot taller, and a lot stronger in your center. Last one, in breath, and exhale. Okay, now I'd like you to bring the bottom knee in front of you and take the top leg above. Hold at that dorsiflex of foot. We go forward, exhale, sh, sh, inhale, exhale, sh, sh, inhale, exhale, sh, sh, in breath, exhale, sh, sh, in breath, and sh, sh. let the legs swing, but you need to really hold in your center so your pelvis doesn't rock too much. Sh, sh, inhale, last set, sh, sh, inhale, stay back. Bend the knee, grab your ankle for a good quadricep stretch. Now, tuck the bottom underneath you. So pull the pelvis forward towards me. And then, as you have that contraction, pull the thigh back to the back wall. And that's how you're gonna feel the stretch of that quads. And keep smiling as you feel your quads being stretched away. So we in breath, exhale, tuck the bottom under and pull the thigh back. Again, in breath, exhale, one more, inhale, keep smiling, even though it's uncomfortable. Exhale, okay, and release that. All right, now, Help yourself up. Take yourself into a mermaid position here. I just want you to take the top, so the underneath arm up to the sky and a quick side bend over. And inhale, lengthening out. Exhale, stay long, but can we go deeper towards the ground? In breath. And an exhale. And let it go. All right, let's go to the other side. We start with the chest opener. Align your feet and the spine. Interlace your hands behind your head. Imagine there is a wall behind you. You're going to rest your head, your spine, your bottom, and your feet against that wall. And then as we inhale, we breathe in that beautiful fresh mountain air and we open the chest. Exhale, we close back. And inhale, as we open. Exhale, we come back. And again, we in breath. 
and exhale. I'd like to challenge you here to take in as much air as you can and how much can you stretch your lungs and with that breath, how far can you take that spine further back? Yeah, and also use your gaze, use your eyes. So you inhale, open the elbow and then use your eyes to trail back to behind you. Can you go a little bit further? And then exhale. Let's do one last one. Inhale, breathing in that fresh mountain air, really stretching the spine, expanding the lungs. And exhale, come back. Does not, doesn't that feel good? Yeah, that felt great to me. So let's go move on to a side lift. Aligned your legs with the spine, straight line. Lift the underneath waistline. Top hand in front of you, lift the feet off the floor slightly. And then we go exhale and down. And we lengthen the bottom waist down to the floor. And we go. Inhale, we reach long. I'm not going to my maximum range because I have a radio receiver underneath me. So I'm not going to press it down, but you should. And then inhale, reach, 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 reach. And come down, let's do one more time. And we reach up, lifting, lifting, lifting. And well done. Okay, tuck the bottom knee. Keep the top leg straight. All right, you can also place your hands here, which I didn't say before, but you can place your hands here too. If you need a little extra you know, tactile cue or support, you can place your hands here. Otherwise, place your hand down, dorsiflex the foot, and let's go forward. In breath. Exhale. Inhale. Your spine is still staying with the wall behind you. Exhale, imaginary wall. And an in breath. Exhale. And an in breath. Exhale. And an inhale. Exhale. And an inhale. One more time. Inhale, reach, hold that, grab your ankle for the quadricep stretch. Okay, let's tuck the bottom under. So we're going to contract the top oblique. And then we're going to pull the thigh away to the back, to the wall behind you. Okay, I hope you got that stretch. So we curl the bottom and then we pull the thigh to the back wall. And we stay there. We inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Remember, smile away. Exhale. Even though this stretch can be quite intense. Inhale. Exhale. Awesome. And let it go. Whew. All right, you can check it out. All right, help yourself up to a mermaid position here. Okay. Underneath arm comes up to the sky. And side bend over to the other side. Remember, inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale. Go a little deeper in the stretch. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale. And up. And okay. All right, onto our hands and our knees. A modified quadrupeds, which means that your shoulders are still aligned with your hands, but your pelvis is somewhat between your knee and your feet. All right, keeping the spinal column nice and long here. We breathe out, we pull the belly in, we round our spine into flexion, into a round back. And then we lengthen our spine and then take our spine, upper back, our upper spine to flexion, not flexion, to extension. And exhale, we round, lengthen through the spine and then taking our upper back into extension as we in breath. We exhale, 
lengthening back. Inhale, arch. And exhale. Inhale, arch. Two more. And exhale. And in breath. Last one. Exhale. In breath. And arch. And release. Tuck the toes under. All right. For modified play. So we got breath out. Pull it in. We press our hands. We keep that spinal girdle, the spinal girdle. We keep that midline, your waistline, nice and stable. And we float the knees off. All right, we stay here as we in breath. Exhale, strong through the arms, open through the front of the chest. And in breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. One more. Exhale. And well done. Okay. Now align your knee and your hip joint. Okay. So here onto our thread and needle stretch. So I like you to take the arm away from me out to the side. And I want you to loop the hand down underneath you. And I want you to rotate to the opposite side and stretch out. And you can bring yourself closer to the ground here. And make sure that your pelvis hasn't shifted away. So bring the pelvis back above the knee. If it has shifted, we stay here in breath. Exhale. One more in breath. Exhale, push up and recover. Let's go over to the other side. Put the arm closer to me, stretch it out to the side. Bring it underneath the shoulder and reach out to the opposite side. And again, make sure the pelvis does not shift away towards the right side, that's for me. And I wanted to bring the pelvis back over your knees and in breath. Exhale, one more. Exhale, and then push up and release. Okay, it's time for our back extension. I have prepared a towel. I'm not sure whether you need this. So what I've done is, let me just talk you through what, I'm, what we're going to do. I folded a towel. So it's about sort of this much thickness. And if you're feeling quite tender in your lower spine, I'd like to invite you and see if this works for you to place the towel just in front of your pelvis here to give that lower back a little bit more support. But perhaps you may not need the towel, so just see, okay? You can pause the video, go grab the towel and come and join me while we have the towel. If you don't have any access to a towel, that's fine, okay? That's fine, we can still do the exercise. I just wanna give you option um, to ease the cram and ease the pain in the lower spine while we do this back extension exercises. So let's go ahead, lie on our front. You can place the towel just uh, in the front of your pelvis. All right, so what it does, it gives you that support so your lower spine can lengthen away. You can, you don't have to use the towel. You just have to use your abdominal, all right? So it does give you that same support. But, you know, with the towel, um, it gives you the extra support. So I'll let you choose which way you want to do. I'm going to put the towel away and just do it in a traditional way. So we have your legs long. And we have our hands on the side here. We keep our spine long. Again, if you don't have the towel, you're going to recruit the abdominal. Even if you have the towel, you have to recruit the abdominal. But, you know, you have the advantage of being supported. Now, send the tail, tailbone, the sitting bone towards your feet here. So power through your legs muscle. Glide the shoulder blades down. And then here, we're going to lift the upper back. Keeping the neck long and come back down as we exhale. 
And again, reaching through the legs, lift the upper back up. So you have your arms to still support you, but I want you to use your back muscle rather than the arm pushing you up and come down. So minimize the use of the arm here. We inhale, gliding the shoulder blades, lifting the upper back. You can even do a little check if you can float those arms off the ground and hold that and come back down. And inhale, upper back, middle back, and lifting, reaching the legs in opposite direction. Exhale. And one more, inhale, reaching, lifting, lifting, we stay. Let's take those hands off, there. And take your arms long by the side of your body and take a body down. And again, inhale, we lift the back, keeping the neck long, keeping the arms close to your thigh. Have the legs engage. Exhale, we'll return. Inhale, we lengthen and we lift. Exhale, we return. One more, please. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale. Good job. All right, bring the arms back to the side of your shoulder. Pull the belly in, push the floor away with your forearm and sit the pelvis to your heels for a good rest position. Keeping the arms active and long. In breath, exhale, one more. And then walk your hand towards the left side of your mat. So we are stretching the right side of the body here. Inhale, allow that side to open up and create more space. Exhale, allow the gravity to soften your body down. One more, inhale. Create length, create space. Exhale, and return the arms to the center and over to the other side. Inhale, keep the pelvis heavy. Exhale, the gravity will take you down a little bit more. In breath, exhale, and walk your hands back. Roll the spine up. Sit a position and take yourself up to standing. We're not done yet, we're almost there. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a footwork. I really want you to find that strength in your pelvis. Okay, hands behind your head. Now I'd like you to have your feet in a parallel position. They're not wider than your pelvis. They are aligned with your center of your hip here. We inhale as we send ourselves down. Your spine is still straight. We are not leaning forward. Exhale, we straighten. Side view, inhale, my back is still straight. Exhale, straighten. My back is still straight. Exhale, straighten. In breath, exhale, and in breath. I have my knees over my feet. Exhale. And as I extend my knee up, I'm thinking about pelvic floor upward. And as I go down, I'm thinking about lengthening my spine up. And two more. Last one. Okay, let's work on that balance. I want you to rise up onto the ball of your feet and lower. And again, exhale, inhale. Find the lift of your feet from the pelvic floor, from your center, and resist as you go down. You can also place your hands here if you like to, to give yourself a little bit more of a tactile cue that you are starting the lift from here, and resist down. Exhale, lift, in breath. Exhale, lift, in breath. Two more time. Exhale, lift, in breath. It's a good, good exercise for the balance. Last one. 
and in breath. Okay, let the arms go, shake it out a little bit. Okay, softening through the knees. Let's do some standing roll downs to finish in breath. Exhale, as we allow the head to knot down, we allow the body to curl one vertebra at a time and allow the body to go into the deep flexion. And then you're gonna tip the pelvis forward and bring your body closer to the ground. Inhale at the bottom. Allow the arms to dangle, allow the neck to dangle. And exhale, strong through the feet. And we firmly press the feet down to the floor as we curl the pelvis underneath you and taking our spine vertebra by vertebra to that beautiful standing, powerful position in breath. Exhale. Roll down. You allow the body to soften, the whole back to open up, inviting a good energy into your body. Exhale and power through the feet down to earth. Lift the pelvis up, lift the lumbar spine up, lift the middle back, upper back, neck, head, and allow yourself to grow taller, even taller as tall as, as you can imagine you can do. And let it go. Well done, well done, well done. Thank you for sticking with me and completing the whole class. Remember, you are what you say, you are what you think, and you are what you do. So repeat after me. I am strength, I am fit, and healthy. I am beautiful, no matter how bloated you feel. I am strength. I am fit and healthy, and I am beautiful. Now take away those and have a wonderful day, and I see you tomorrow on the mat again. Take care. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I am Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoy this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.